Assalamu alaikum. Today we have a very nice video for you for something very tasty and it is meatballs with rice and carrots and this is uh, our own specialty, our own recipe that we come up by mistake you know and it's very tasty and uh, now we will show you how to make it. All we need is around half kilo grounded meat, one big carrot, you can put one or one and a half or two, it doesn't matter. Uh, one cup of rice and bread. The best bread, and you should uh, make it like this. And the best bread is uh, old bread if you have. For example, if you have a bread that's been sitting for a couple of days, that is the best bread you can use. Uh, so now we will show you how to mix and season the meat. Number one, salt. Because this is a Himalayan salt. This is not so salty salt, if I can say so. So it needs a little bit extra. Pepper. little bit of uh, garlic with paprika and onion just a little bit this is very nice this one I like yeah mm -hmm. and uh, now we take just a little bit of uh, vegeta if you don't have vegeta you can put uh, some other type you know you don't even have to you know but uh, we put a little bit so so it gets nice. Paprika? Yeah. Huh? What paprika? Dead paprika. This one? Yeah. Ah, I know. Yeah. But uh, no? after a little bit. Ah, okay. Just a little bit. So, a little bit of paprika. And now, where is the onion? Dead. Uh -huh. And now, the onion. Put a bit more actually. What can I do? This is how much we need. This is half chilo, you know. So we have one uh, around big uh, onion and carrot. So as you can see, this is a uh, nice. We are not wasting anything. <laughs> and now we put the rice. I think this is a little bit too much rice, huh? No. Are you sure? Yeah, believe me. Maybe this is enough, huh? Okay. Okay, I mean. So, put off. Then we do this. So, but uh, what can I say? My wife is expert in rice. She is the one who is Asian. So we gotta listen to wife. The bread? Huh? The bread? Ah. Mm. First I have to mix this a little bit, otherwise it will be so much. As you can see, this already looks nice and tasty. Mm -hmm. It smells nice. Yeah. So now, and now we put the bread. Is the best way to count it up with the hand like this. Around three hands like that. We will see later if we need more. This is all the seasoning, you know, Serbian style. We never count exactly how much uh, we use. But somehow we always get it right. Because probably this is, you cannot get wrong, you know, you can see by your eyes. It should be balanced with everything. Everything in life you do should be balanced. Oops. Oops. 
I was not so experienced like those others uh, on the internet. <laughs> so nice nice and compact uh, the only thing that i'm uh, worried a little bit now when i see how much this is if we should put a little bit more salt really huh i think so a little bit more okay salt. <laughs> little bit so <laughs> yeah that's in serbia called a little bit little little Finish. Finish. Now, the next one is putting the hot pot with some oil and onion. But because we don't have an onion, we need to cut it and uh, then we will be right back. Okay. Okay, now after cutting onion, we need a little bit of onion and uh, oil. To cover the pot maybe like this one or two centimeter and, uh, and that's it now we start taking the onion first give me that green one because every time when you take meat it would be good to have a little bit onion uh, down there just to give it nice taste and uh, onion is so tasty so going to be much better this now we wait and while we're waiting we can start preparing meatballs yeah where is that green one here where we cut the onions like this and start making the best way what i do is i put uh, meat in my hand and then press it strong and those little bit on the corner that come out I take away so we know exactly how big to make <laughs> and they come every time the same and uh, this is you see you just press it out and then the meat show it again uh, I will show you the next one and that is how the meatballs become compact good and strong like this you press it strong and then it comes out here and here and then you have it in press Want one more? Okay, like this. Mm -hmm. It is important to have them all the uh, same size because uh, when you stake them, when one is uh, good, then that means that all of them are good. So you don't have to have uh, some of them are uh, over staked and some of them are not. And you should have uh, your husband or your wife, it depends who is making, to help you with this because uh, when you do it together it's much better it was faster eh? yeah and it's much more fun and uh, it's good if you take your husband helping you sometimes with food if he likes to do it you don't have to do it and he if he can do it you know if he can do it yeah then uh, as the time progress he will learn to appreciate you much more when he see how much work there is you know because uh, men don't know actually really, they don't realize until you start living alone maybe and washing the dishes and things like that and no problem with most of the men, they live always with their uh, Parents, mothers uh. yeah? and uh, Musa, come on we have our baby who is using the chance while we are busy <laughs> to make the mess that is now his uh, time and you're not watching him. Anyway, yeah, for the parents, people who live with the parents, you know, they usually don't do nothing at home. And then when they get married, they don't do nothing with <laughs> their wives either, you know. And it's always not their fault, you know, that's because just how they are raised. They you know? used but to, if you yeah. speak to them nicely, Maybe. I promise you most of the men, especially the Muslim men who think, you know, they will always try to help uh, the wife the wife you know in the house with the children or with the food or with something like that it's 
It's already much. Yeah. Maybe we will not make all of them this time because the pot is not big enough. Yeah, and uh, you can uh, do it like this sometimes, huh? and then you can put meat back in the fridge, and you can have it for maybe one, two maybe days. even two max. days, max two days, you know. But you could have it uh, like this, so you don't have to bake everything if you have too much already, or uh, if you want to have a fresh meatball later. We can do that also. Let it move it from the fire. Yeah. Because the onion is starting to burn. And I'm busy here talking to you and my wife sees <laughs> everything. Okay, Musa, move now. So, Papa, can. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> always take onion on the lower temperature you know for around five six seven minutes and that is especially important for people who have a problem with the stomach and acid and I know I cannot stress this enough but there are so many people who have a problem with the stomach acid yes. but they don't even know about that and that goes on for years and then they develop this that's that's why you know you can have a burping or you can have a stomach pain or acid uh, reflex going in your throat you know and that's really bad and bothering you know and it can give you bad breath and so many things and, and that's especially problem with us people today because we eat much more than uh, what you what people used to do before we live now in the time when we are uh, really overeating so much and I don't say I'm not one of those also, you know, sometimes I eat also more than I eat. But that is because we are all addicted to food. We have more bowls than we are supposed to, but it's okay. Not okay. Because uh, hopefully they will shrink with the time. And this is how you need them the best way, just a little bit from under. It. Yeah. And now we put a little bit of water in, just a little bit, and we cover it like this. Open it a little bit on the side, Maybe like this. As you can see here, we are cooking and uh, steaking meatballs at the same time. And uh, you can see this water is needed because we need to cook rice at the same time as cooking the meat. And uh, we do it with the lock so the water doesn't leave. And then after some time we need to put more water because uh, the water is going to uh, vaporize. And yeah. Time to check the meatballs again. Oops. So much so. Like this, it's from under. It's good to have uh, something so you don't scratch your part. And the shape and they fall into place uh, nicely. So, as you can see, still there is still water, not much, but that's enough. Oops, let me close it. And we take it like this for maybe 15 20 minutes. It depends how long the rice needs to be cooked. And this is ba basmat rice. Some people eat the raw meat, you know, and uh, they like it, you know. But uh, we are not one of those people. We like it steak, almost uh, burnt, crispy, crunchy, you know. I was already putting the water here twice. And as you can see, I needed to put uh, water so it keep cooking. Otherwise, it's only steaking and uh, okay. that is not uh, really good because the rice needs to have water again and uh, this is what happens if you don't wear uh, something to protect you or if you have a white and I cannot believe that I did this to my shirt <laughs> I like this shirt <laughs> and I have to wash it <laughs> I know baby what can I do you know Next time don't wear white. And this is your fault because we wanted to make video for you and... Uh, Why it's for me? 
No, not for you, for them. <laughs> so now everybody go like and comment, you know, if you want to see more of those videos. <laughs> not without splashing oil. <laughs> okay, see you in uh, five minutes. Now the final product. As you can see. And at the end, when the water leaves, you can leave it. You don't need to add more water. Now we just want for one or two minutes, stake them a little bit. And uh, you can see now, just move a little bit your hand. Oh my God. Ah, move, move some more. Yeah. As you can see, like this. And we move it. How nice they are staking. Maybe you can even hear the sound. They are getting a little bit brown here and there, you know. That's perfect. And now we just take it for cups for one minute or two minutes on uh, the same uh, temperature without water and then we get them nice golden brown and the best way to eat those meatballs is with potato or rice or bread you can choose whatever you like or you can eat them even without anything but i don't recommend you that uh, we from balkan we need to have a bread or at least rice or something, potato, to eat those meatballs because uh, that is how you should eat all it. And uh, now we can see how nice they look. And now we can close it and move it from the fire to keep the temperature hot. And uh, we forgot, but uh, now we decided to cook some potato. So after that, we can eat it with the potato. And uh, the final product is a scene on my shirt down there here. <laughs> yeah. This is in case there is no more sauce in the plate. You can take a little bit bread, you know, just uh, and, uh, eat it uh, from here. Okay. Actually, no, okay. It was not all. I'm gonna show you in the plate how it looks later. Yeah. And then after I will say it to you. Okay, that was all for today. I hope you liked this video. Like, subscribe and comment and I see you next time. So now when the potato and uh, the meatballs are finished, we put them in the plate and we will show you how Swedish people eat potato with the silt. And uh, as you can see, this is the silt. This is uh, like a jam, but more watery with the whole fruits in it. Like it can be blueberry or uh, some kind of uh, other types of fruits. And then you can put them a little bit on the potato and a little bit here on the side. So, and now you have a salty potato with uh, meatballs, carrots and rice, and silt. <laughs>